r slash adulting. Original 16954 says. Did the world really start sucking in the last few decades? Or does it just seem that way, because I grew up? I'm 27 years old, and I feel like the world has changed so much in my lifetime. Society has flipped upside down. I grew up in the 2000s. Everything seemed so community based. Everyone seemed happy. Everyone helped each other. It seemed like everyone lived a slower lifestyle. Everyone had more time. Everyone saw the good in humanity. The earth was literally more green. I could go swim in local swimming holes that are now all gated off. The forest I used to run around and play in is now a cul-de-sac. We used to have fun without being watched and judged all the time. We could make mistakes without being ridiculed for it. Then it seems like early 2010s, 2020 during my adolescence, society became stricter and stricter. Like over time everyone started to grow afraid of each other and untrusting. It's grew rarer for strangers to go above and beyond for each other. Social media and texting replaced a lot of real social interactions. All real social interactions are planned out in advance now. The expectation shifted to needing to be reachable by text at all hours of the day. It used to be rude to call someone during dinner or late at night. Work started coming home with you because of internet devices. Everyone was getting instant news making it seem like way more bad things are happening. Beauty standards became more unrealistic. However even through all of this, this decade still seemed to have its beauty. I somehow managed school, work, extracurriculars and a healthy social life throughout high school and college, and was happy doing it. Then 2020 covered hit and the world has just seemed so dark and dreary since. It seems like there's no more joy or magic in life. No one has real fun anymore. You are always worrying about everything at once. You are expected to be on top of everything you have to manage in your life all at once. For example I might have my family group chat planning a picnic and asking me what I'm going to make, my boss texting me about a project and making requests, my boyfriend texting me complaining about not seeing me enough, also while I'm getting notifications reminding me to pay bills, all while I'm trying to cook dinner and do chores and be with the family. And like all of this going on and being expected to be mentally everywhere all at once. No wonder we are all anxious and overwhelmed. And having fun just feels stressful with the amount of planning and coordinating around other things. Also needing to coordinate when you can do basic life things. Like get an oil change or take your dog to the vet around pre-allotted limited vacation hours at work. Like what is this life? Anyway. Coincidentally these timelines and shifts in society have aligned to change between my childhood, then adolescence, then adulthood. I graduated college the year the pandemic hit. I don't know if it's just my view of the world, based on my age slash milestones in combination of the changes that have occurred in society simultaneously. It doesn't seem like my parents were as drained in their 20s slash 30s as we all are now. Those of you that are a lot older than I am. Did growing up feel like this for you, even though the decades were different? Or is it truly the changes between the different decades making life feel? Correct map 4655 says. It's worse. 2005 to 2019 was better. In sorry. Riddance Black Future says. I'd argue 1995 to 2008 was the best. Midnight Fatangel says. I'd argue pre the 9th of November 2001 was more naive and innocent. There was a freshness, a comradery we never got back after the towers went down. Shillerstone says. It's not you. 2013 is when things started to plummet. Trobertsk says. This is just not true. There has been so, so much going wrong locally and around the world for as long as any of us have been alive. 
The majority of the reason you believe this is, because you're more connected to the world, because of the internet, and you have a constant stream of bad news right in your face. And much of it is intentionally created by bot farms, to do exactly that to your brain. To influence your opinions. Way AP says. True. Also now though it takes a month, to see a doctor and years for surgery. A few years ago you could rent a cheap house and even buy one. The labor laws were better. We never fed as much public money to business. Business was taxed more than us. We had more natural environment and less people to support. Rav Aldrich says. I don't have time to answer thoroughly, but yes, life has really started to suck in the past 2 to 3 decades. Previous decades weren't some glorious utopia, so it's not rose tinted glasses. It's mostly about wealth consolidation on an international scale and resources allocation, and complicated crap like that. But yes, life in many countries, is shittier now than it has been in maybe a century. Reddit is garbage 666 says. Free market neoliberal capitalism in full mode, since the early 80s. I can get loud to says. So basically everything really is Reagan and Thatcher's fault. I kinda wanted to say that, but wasn't alive back then, and didn't wanna speak about stuff I haven't experienced. Let's be civilized says. I sometimes wonder how much technology has influenced this show, and if we were somewhat better off without it, or this level of it. Flad6660 says. I was going to say the same thing. In this day and age of social media, we are far more exposed to multiple walks of life which often distorts our perception. Grimace says. A little column A and a little from column B. Welcome to adulting. Nuclear Family Rictus says. I was a teenager in the 80s, and life has gotten successively worse and worse every decade. It all started with Y2K and everyone panicking over nothing, ruining what was supposed to be the best New Year's even of my life. Then 9 over 11 happened, and they used it as an excuse, to destroy any semblance of normalcy in our world. That's when they closed public bathrooms down, and took away trash cans in my city. And everyone wonders, why there's so much poop all over our sidewalks. That's a big reason why. Once blockbusters all closed and everything became streaming content and subscriptions it really went downhill. I've been patiently waiting for it all to eventually eat itself, so we can all go back to watching movies at the Cineplex, and walking around the mall, as life is supposed to be. I can get loud to says. I think wages not keeping up with inflation, is just as much to blame as online shopping for the death of the males. No one has money to shop anymore. r slash adulting. Rhinus Dash says. If you're reading this right. Now it probably means, that you're extremely lonely. If you are reading this right. Now it probably means, that you're extremely lonely. But everyone in your life, thinks you're doing amazing right now. Typically the people who are the most lonely suffer the most with that burden of trying to help others, and uplift everyone else but not taking care of yourself. I just want to tell you, that you don't need to carry that burden anymore. You really need to take care of yourself your mental health comes first, and I just want to also say that you are seen, and heard and I care about you. I really wanna hug you. Transcendalist user says. I'm reading this, because I'm on a 2 hour conference call. Corncob subscriber says. This feels like bait for brainwashing people. Stay safe lurkers. Penguins rocks says. I'm reading this while pooping, I guess it'd be nice, if someone was in here watching me. Tall inspector 5245 says. Gay I I I. Laflex says. Projection much? Skoiles says. I'm bored at work. Sweets1978 says. Spot on. I've never felt so lonely in my life, but I put on a happy face, and try to deal it the best way I can. 
my Nami Skittles says. No, not at all. I'm at work on the pooper. BG Almighty says. Nope, just bored at work on a Friday. Public Beta Version says. I'm reading this while watching Spider-Man, and eating pizza with my kids. But I feel you. Hang in there. Walsh Dragon in London says. I'm reading this, because I'm waiting for my daughter to fall asleep. So I can go, and watch some TV and finally relax. Stigbud says. No, I'm reading this, because it's 4 in the morning on a Saturday and I'm not tired enough to fall asleep. Funpitoff Dysfunction says. M an accusation sometimes is a confession. Are you okay, my guy? Tayphonix says. I'm waiting on leaving work. Weird ass deflections in this sub recently. Purposeful blank says. I'm reading this because my big dog is napping on me and my legs fell asleep. So I'm passing the time until I can safely stand again. walks 2 b says. Stop wallowing, act. Antita Pete says. It feels bad when you have succeeded in everything else other than being attractive to other people. It's even worse when you see others effortless enjoying friends and being loved regardless of their shortcomings. It's the worst to know that you are temporarily tolerated until you are no longer needed or that you are just someone's pet project. That's BK says. Edit, fell for the bait. Queen of Mean says. The op sometimes writes what they themselves need to hear you okay, we got you. All us weird random strangers spread on the map, will totally join you in your bed right now, so you feel less alone. Imagine all redditors in this comment crowding up in ops bed lol, dubs on wall side. Lavella loves 7 says. Sitting on the toilet sitting on the toilet. Welshman1789 says. Thank you. Typoint Kreshiob says. This is really kind, but really amusing to read with my legs on top of my partner. Sajethadud123 says. How are you speaking to me? I need a hug so bad. Lakayasu3179 says. I'm just using the restroom, all my friends are here. Stephanie Rosix says. I'm on the toilet. Crafty Ratio 4492 says. Appreciate it. Compunction Function says. I'm in the bathroom. Junk Love says. I think I'm reading it wrong, so I'm not lonely. McHall 12 says. I'm waiting for my shift to end, in the can, after too much screen slash analysis numbers. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.